Hello, today we are talking about Dresser Style 65 coupling. They're also called Dresser Compression Coupling or Compression Fitting or Galvanized uh, Dresser Coupling. This is uh, a standard uh, one inch Style 65 coupling. This is how it looks like. This is a uh, Style 65 uh, coupling elbow adapter nut. And uh, so let me show you the, the component of these. And uh, if you open it up, uh, these are very simple to assemble. You can see that they has they have a gasket on one both sides, and uh, the gasket, uh, if you look here, has a retainer cup. So this is a retainer cup. Uh, this is uh, this is a gasket. This is a gasket and that's that's how you uh, that's how you uh, put it together now style 65 is is 150 pound coupling they're not good for more than 150 uh, uh, psi used for light industrial application light plumbing application a place where uh, you don't want to thread you don't want to weld you can use a, a, a compression fitting so let me show you how uh, this goes together um, again very simple <coughs> Uh, you just pass on the nut from one side, uh, the, the gasket on the other side, and it goes like this. And that's how you make a connection. Same thing on this side. Slide the nut. Make sure the the retainer cup is on the gasket, and the lip of the gasket should be pointed inwards. And you should just slide it on, and then push this thing on. And that's how you make it. Now, the, 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 better, the, the better practice is that uh, you want to leave a slight gap in the middle. So you should mark your, your pipe. Make sure that uh, you don't push one, one side too much. Leave about, a, about an inch, inch and a half gap in the middle. So this pipe will come all the way up to here. This will come all the way up to here. You can just adjust it. And then once you uh, take a wrench and when, once you tighten it out, then it will, uh, it will it will create a seal. Now remember, this type of coupling will not prevent uh, a pipe pull out. If you have a situation where the pipe can pull out, then there's another solution. You can use a universal style 90 coupling that comes with a lock ring. But they're generally used in an application where uh, the pipe pull out uh, is, is not an issue. A slight movement is okay, but uh, don't expect a, a lot. If there's a lot of axial force, then this thing can uh, come apart. Now this is uh, a style 65 um, compression elbow. This works on the exact same principle as the coupling. Um, you just put one pipe right here, you put the other one right here, uh, and, and, and it creates a seal. Uh, remember, remember the style 65 coupling does not prevent uh, an axial pull out, so if you have something pulling the pipe out, uh, it will not prevent it. It just seals, gaps the pipe. See that it holds it a little bit, but don't expect a lot of uh, um, um, pull out resistance. Again, to show you, this is the exact same thing. Um, this is the nut, and it has a retainer cup and the gasket. So, you can see right here. This is how it looks like the gasket, the retainer cup, and, and the nut. Now, Tropley also sells the spare parts, so if you have this in installation, you want to replace the nut uh, or the gasket or the retainer cup, uh, we sell those separately also.
This is a Style 65 uh, compression coupling adapter. It's also called a male adapter. It helps you uh, connect to uh, a threaded fitting and, and have a compression fitting on the other end. So if you have a threaded coupling, you can thread this on and then the other side uh, now becomes a uh, compression coupling in the similar fashion that you use the coupling. So you slide the nut, put the gasket, uh, and, and then you have uh, compression coupling on this end. Now this is this is an insulating adapter. Um, if you are connecting a nominal pipe uh, to uh, to a copper pipe um, or copper tubing, uh, then you will use this insulating. Then you will use this insulating adapter. Now the way this thing works is, you will have a, a regular coupling connection right here. Imagine this is all made up, and the other side you will just drop this thing in. You have to make this loose, drop this thing in, and then you will slide your copper tubing through here. And once you tighten the nut, it will grab onto the pipe. What it helps is this this copper tubing dimensions are different than nominal pipe dimensions. It helps connect a one inch regular pipe to a one inch copper tubing uh, uh, through the use of this uh, this insulating adapter. And uh, And, and, and the way it works is, uh, it's hard to see from here, but it has a little lip, so you don't have to worry about it. You just make sure the opening end is facing outside and uh, the, the little step on the inside. So once you drop the tubing in, it will just stop. So, so it's, very simple to, uh, it's very simple to install. Uh, you just uh, put this one in and then slide this onto your copper tubing put this everything here and then once you tighten the nut it will grab onto it and will make a compression fit. So style 65 insulating adapter to join regular pipe to a copper pipe, copper tubing. So in summary this is style 65 dresser compression coupling also called compression fitting. Uh, this particular one is one inch uh, and this is available in, uh, in a coupling, in a 90 degree elbow, and a male adapter, and insulating adapter to compensate for a difference in size from a regular pipe to a copper tubing. So if you want to connect a regular pipe to a copper tubing, uh, slide this on on one end, put the copper tubing on, and then you have a compression coupling that can be used on a, on a copper tubing. Again, the, the components are very simple. You have a nut and then you have a, a gasket and, and a retainer cup and that's what uh, creates uh, the sealing element. Now remember, style 65 compression coupling has 150 pound uh, uh, PSI pressure rating. Generally for lighter application, water application, light plumbing, industrial application, uh, Style 65 compression coupling will not prevent a pipe pull out. So if you are in a situation where you think the pipe may pull out, then this may not be a good use. Thank you.